there guys, I'm Champ Chong and welcome to the Gaming News. Now if you guys are not enjoying today's video, please give it a smack the like button real good and now let's jump into the first news report on today's show. And our first news report on today's show is regarding a few things out there for PS4 gamers regarding updates to the system, new apps, things like that and on top of that also God of War. But the first thing we are going to talk about specifically with the PS4 is an update that rolled out which is 5.5. It rolled out a couple of weeks ago but it's something that a lot of people didn't pick up on and it's got to do with the parental controls. There were a lot of new things added and changed in this update but a lot of people missed this new parental control system that's on the PS4 in the 5.50 update that is now available. That's pretty much on all your PS4s if you have updated it since then. The new feature for parental controls is known as playtime management. Here's the description of it. PS4 now gives you the means to control how much game time your family and children might be getting. You can set specific times and limits for when game can be accessed to help limited access for kids. This feature can also be accessed via a smartphone or a tablet for monitoring on the go. Now at first this doesn't seem like the biggest news out there but when it comes to actually having this on your system it can be quite a good prank tool. Yes that is why I'm bringing this up and why this is so important. This is actually awesome news right here because if you have a sibling or you have a cousin or you have a friend or someone with a PS four and they go on it, you can monitor and basically stop them from playing at any time, which is hilarious. Obviously, this is a great tool for parents out there. If you are watching this, you happen to be a parent, you have a kid that plays games and you want to monitor them, great stuff there. But this is also great for just messing with your friends or family. So this is pretty interesting stuff right here. I'll also leave all the updates that I didn't cover in this down below in the description. So check out that link if you want to know more about the updates on your latest PS4 firmware. Now, on top of that, something else launched that is a lot more newer than that news right there, which happened today, actually. The Twitch app for the PS4 got a much needed interface makeover. Like seriously, got a huge new update and it is much better now. For some reason, the Twitch app on the PS4 has always been kinda, uh, I guess lame is the best way to describe it. But now they've actually updated the interface. It does look much nicer. It's kinda cleaner and everything and it does match to what you do see on the PC or even on the Xbox, it's very similar to now. So it's quite a nice refresh. So if you do have the Twitch app and you do use it on your PS4, for rather than watching Twitch on your phone, PC or any other device, this is actually a really cool update that has come out today. So make sure you update that app and uh, go check out me streaming on Twitch if I ever do because I'm really bad and not consistent with that, kind of like my YouTube channel. Oh boy, I should continue to the next news report on today's show and that is to do with God of War. So for all the PS4 gamers out there, this is another huge important update. As you probably know, God of War has been a series that's been out for like a decade now and it has been huge. It's always been one of the main staples of PlayStation. And now with God of War coming to the PS4, just known again as God of War, it doesn't have a new name or anything, but it's got a new combat system. And a lot of my friends in the past have always been kind of, eh, I don't know about playing this game because the combat system's just kind of button mashed. It's kind of stupid, which I agree. It's always been kind of lame, the combat system on the God of War games out there. But now they've actually changed it. You probably already know about this, but a new video has come out and it does show show how Kratos' son helps you in combat. So the combat system has been improved, plus you also have Kratos' son who helps you, and it's actually a really cool system. So if you want to check out that video, I've linked it in the description down below. You can see a little bit here. It's really cool how you can work in tandem, and it's just really awesome. So it's great that God of War is less than a month away, so I can't wait for that. But now, let's move on to the next news report on today's show. Let's move it away from PlayStation over to the Microsoft side of things with the Xbox One and the PC, because Sea of Thieves, if you are playing this game and you're probably wondering at the very moment this video comes out, why are the servers offline? Well, the reason for the servers being offline for Sea of Thieves is because they are updating the game with a quite a big update. Maintenance began just a couple of hours ago after this video has gone up in the initial phase and then it will be up a couple of hours after this video goes up. So if you're watching this video a few hours after this video goes up, the servers will be back and there will be a huge number of updates. Now, some of these updates include things such as temporarily missing items and weapons. Performance issues have now been also fixed on the Xbox One X. 
and also not receiving entitlements such as the Black Dog Pack. On top of that, other problems such as missing rewards, delayed achievements, and connectivity issues are still being worked on. Rare says in the meantime that the company has disabled achievements with the aim of reactivating them by the end of the week. So there will probably be another update later on in the week unless they can just turn those in updates and I guess achievements on. So yeah, that's all the news out there for Sea of Thieves. So if you're wondering why the servers went down, it's because a new update has come out. So make sure you update your game and you'll have a much better running game with a bunch more new stuff in there that works. So now let's move on to the final news report to the biggest game in the world right now, which is Fortnite. Because if you remember a couple of weeks ago, I had a news report that I talked about a Fortnite Battle Royale starter pack and it is finally rolling out. It's only $5 US. So it's finally actually coming out, which is awesome news. A lot of you guys are questioning like, why isn't it out yet? We didn't even know. I guess uh, Epic Games just decided to wait on it for a little while. So now it is finally out and it is actually pretty awesome. $5, you do get a new skin, you get a new back and it's pretty cool. So make sure you go check that out if you do play Fortnite on any system because it is should be available right now. And there we have it guys. That is the gaming news for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And now Gorilla Man, please hand me that question. Thanks, Gorilla Man. Okay, guys, and the question is, what system do you mostly play your video games on and why? Is it the Xbox One? Is it PS4? Is it even something older? Or is it a PC? Or even, maybe, a Nintendo Switch? Get creative with the answers and put them down below in the comment section and you can end up on the next show. But if you enjoyed today's video, please remember to smack the like button real good because I'm Champ Chong, my sister.